new videos every day. Hey guys, it's Wayne Miller again with Fit and Fearless, along with Caleb. Uh, we're going to be working on the advancing front kick. Looks like this. All right, guys. Uh, like the previous technique learned in a couple videos back, working on the front kick, all the same principles apply. I'm making contact with the top part of my shoelaces. I'm leading with the knee. My knee goes past the target. It's slightly bent on impact. I'm taking my hips and I'm leaning into it at the same time, putting all my weight behind the strike. The only difference is now I'm out of range. And in Krav weapon always leads first. So as I'm stepping with my right foot or as I'm advancing, I'm leading with the weapon, same count, simultaneously making contact to the pad uh, as I land on the ground. <laughs> advancing front kick. A couple more uh, key points on the advancing front kick here with Vanessa and Caleb. Um, let's see if you go live. As I was saying before, in Krav Maga, weapon leads first. So as she's advancing, she's leading with that lead leg front kick. And ideally, as her right foot's landing on the ground, she's landing the strike at the same time to the pad. She's keeping her chin down. She's keeping her eyes up on Caleb's chest so as not to telegraph the kick. And also, it lets her follow through and drive through more. Uh, so it's a more effective strike. It's a lot stronger. Uh, she's keeping her hands up at all times, elbows tight to her ribs. Her knee is going past the target every single time, so she's not hyperextending her leg. And she's making contact with the top of her shoelaces. Let's do a couple more fast. Live. Nice. Good. And time. Advancing front kick. The great thing about Krav Maga is we always lead into uh, the fight with additional strikes. It's not just one strike and then we walk away. Uh, that'd be ideal, but we're always trained to throw multiple strikes. So Vanessa's going to advance in. She throws an advancing front kick and she's going to finish off with knee strikes, something that we learned in a previous video. She's going to push off, disengage, and she resets. Let's keep going. Nice, nice. Move around, move around. Nice, keep going. Nice, good. Way to get in. Good, stay in the fight, stay in the fight. Good. Good, one more. Make it count. One more. Good, and time. All right, guys, uh, we're going to slow down a little bit, and we're going to work on a little spacing drill um, so that if she feels like her kick is smothered, hold down. If she feels like she can just throw a front kick from a normal hiding stance, that's what she's going to throw. If she's out a little bit and she needs to uh, engage and do an advancing front kick, that's what she throws. And there's obviously going to be some gray area uh, where she can do either one. Uh, but go ahead, guys. Let's play with it. Move around the room. Nice. If she's close and she doesn't have to advance, she just sends the kick. It's nice and simple. If she's out too far, she feels like she has to advance, she steps, she kicks at the exact same time, it's great. Either one's fine. Once again, you're working on previous skills learned in previous videos. Nice. Two more. Good. And time. Nice. This our video on advancing front kicks. Uh, once again, thanks to Vanessa and Caleb. Uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos. Uh, make sure you review the videos, give us a thumbs up. And uh, for additional information about uh, Fit and Fearless and Krav Maga, be sure and check out our website, www.fitandfearless.com. Thanks a lot, guys.